What's up guys, Ruxon34 back with more first edition tactical evolution. You guys saw the clip. We have 100 packs of first edition tactical evolution. This is a pretty difficult set, pretty expensive set these days. I managed to get 100 packs for a pretty good deal for how much they really cost, you know, at market value. So pretty excited. We're going to open 24 packs four different times. That equals 96 packs. There's going to be four left over for a future battle video. So for this video, we're opening up the first 24 and we're going to call this the search for the ghost rare rainbow dragon. So it's kind of the search for the ghost, but it's amplified. This is first edition tactical evolution, first edition rainbow dragon. Let me pop up some PSA 10 prices of a rainbow dragon. It's absolutely nuts. So hopefully we can pull it out of one of these 100 packs that I have. We're going to open 24 today. And in regards to the giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards. We got two commons, but nice commons and a secret rare from legendary collection, Joey's world trap jammer and star pack battle royale. This actually has five booster packs in it. These are not very expensive packs, but you get five. So it's pretty cool. So five booster packs, one winner wins these three cards and five booster packs. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video. And of course, leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite card from tactical evolution? And do you think we can complete the search? So let me know in the comments, guys. And also in regards to the 10K special, it's probably not happened yet. I'm waiting on three international packages. We actually got Astral Pack 4 and OTS 4 before other packages because the other three packages are stuck in transit. So I'm waiting on those to get here. Once they get here, we'll be doing that epic opening. The good news is we have every pack on the way. All the packs should get here eventually unless they get lost or something, which would be a tragedy. But I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for being patient. I know we're way past 10,000, but we're going to do it eventually. So now let's hop into it. 24 first edition packs. This set, okay, what do we want? For the whole series, we're going to want to pull, obviously, the Ghost Share, but there's two, that's a 1 in 288 chance. We have a 96 out of 288 chance, a little bit over 33%, or actually, is that exactly 33%? Exactly 33% chance. Wow. So there we go. 1 in 3 chance to pull the Ghost Share. We also, of course, want to pull the Rainbow Dragon Secret. There's also Ill Blood Secret. There's Venomenanga. No, there's Venomenanga and Venomenon. Venomenon is the ultimate rare. Venomenanga is the secret rare. There's a bunch of awesome secret rares and ultimate rares in here. So we're just going to open up. Hopefully, we will pull some of them. If you guys haven't seen, make sure you guys check out my first beginning and end ghost series where we opened up the first pack, which was the first ghost pack, which was Tactical Evolution, and the last, which was Dimension of Chaos. And we pulled an epic ultimate rare out of tactical evolution. So make sure you guys check that out. Here we go. There's also some good commons and rares we need to watch out for. Because when you open this many packs, it's helpful to get the commons. So let's see if we can pull some of them. Rise of the Snake DD. A rare is, it's like snake something. I'll recognize when I see it. It's a magic card. Elemental Hero Marine Neos. It's cool. Venom Shot. King Pirate. Creature Seizure. And Alien Shock Trooper. So I don't think any of those were great. I think it's called, and then there's like... Some sort of trap card. It's like some sort of, it's like, it's like something gift or something. It's like a $3 card. I can't remember exactly. There's gift of greed is a dollar too. So that's pretty good. Let me know guys, if there's another good card that I'm missing so I can pull it out. Convert, contact, dark effigy and fossil tusker. Broken bamboo swords. Not bad. I'm going to set that over in the hits. I think it might be a dollar and cocoon veil. So $1 cards do add up. So it's nice to grab them. So we're two packs in. Whoops. Don't know what happened there. We got nothing, but the search for the rainbow dragon is long from over. We have a lot, a lot to go. If we pull it, that would be insane because this card is very difficult to find now. And pulling it in PSA 10 condition is going to be nearly impossible right out of the pack, especially since these are loose packs and they were kind of shipped a little bit poorly. The box was just like, they were just everywhere. So I was a little bit worried that some corners got dinged. There's a grass chopper. So hopefully they didn't. Ringe, Cocoon Party, and Ritual Raven. Slow start, but we have a lot of packs. A lot of packs to go. Last time I opened some packs, they had some Euro packs in there, and we got an epic-looking Euro card. So hopefully we'll get another one. Gift card. That's the good card. So there it is. I think that's the $3 card. It'll pop up if it is. I'll probably have the nope. Nope. If it's not, that way you guys can know if I know what I'm talking about or if I don't. Editing Ruxin, we'll let you guys know. All right. So far, nothing. Well, we did pull a three dollar common, so that's not nothing. That's for sure. We just need a big foil pull to get bring it back. Crystal is chicky. 
Trap, Reclamation, Reverse of Neos, Gravatic Orb, Ambush Fangs, and Ringe. Gatekeeper of Dark World. Yeah, so these were loose packs, so the... I don't know where they came... Like, I know who I bought them from, but, you know, they could have been from booster boxes. They could have been from... I don't, I don't know. I guess they had blisters. Could have been from blisters, you know. So you never really know. So the ratios are pretty random. Next, Chrysalis Larva. Blaze Wing Butterfly, our first foil. Super rare. Yeah, but I was saying, I know they're not scaled because we already pulled something out of the last few I got. Blaze Wing Butterfly, it's our first super rare. The super rares out of the set are not too expensive. They're pretty cheap, actually, which is... Kind of unfortunate, but that's just kind of how it is for GX, especially in the hobby retail sets, which this isn't, but it's because they're just like, you know, when they're printed as ultimate as well, the super is just not, you know, nobody wants it. Volcanic Rat, Venom Swamp, Chrysalis Chicky, Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto, Gravatic Orb, Ambush Fangs, Ringe, and Cocoon Party. So, so far, nothing really to, uh, nothing really to go crazy about, but first edition Tactical Evolution, pretty cool. Always got a chance to pull something pretty awesome. Here we go. Next. Venom Swamp. Chrysalis Chicky. Oh! First video! Yes! 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 My heart literally dropped. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Maybe the red eyes. Oh my gosh. And let's check out this condition. It looks, it looks flawless. <laughs> so much for the surge. How many packs do we open? Like seven? Oh my gosh. And this thing is really nice too. This, I didn't see any scratches on the foil. Oh my goodness. My heart dropped. I was like, you guys saw it. I don't know why I'm explaining it. This is insane. Ghost Rare. Rainbow Dragon. Oh my gosh. Now I'm like, should we open the rest of the packs? But the question is, I mean, the obvious, obvious answer is yes. They're random packs, so maybe we'll get more. Oh my. If that grades a 10, then I will easily make my money back for what I paid for these. Which is cool. But I'm also probably never going to sell that card. Even if it gets a 9, like, that's one of the ones, like, Red Eyes got a 9. Cyberdark Dragon. By the way, check out my Cyberdark Impact opening where I pulled that. Super old, but I got a 9, but I will never get rid of that card because of the, the moment. I don't even want to touch this card. I'm, I'm, like, shaking. Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare. Guys, I had never pulled a Ghost Rare other than... Yeah, I never pulled a Ghost Rare. I bought a case of Secrets of Eternity, two cases, to pull one, which was cheating, basically. Then open Haunted Mind and pulled one. Then comes... Dimension of Chaos. I pull two Ghost Rares. Just like a week or two ago. And now we pull Rainbow Dragon. My Ghost Rare luck is insane. Insane. So yeah, I guess we should get on with this video. Oh my goodness. That was one of my best pulls ever. That was one of my best pulls ever. Like, if it, if it grades a 10, it will be worth more than my Red Eyes. By like a lot. Which is absolutely insane. Because Red Eyes is... You know, L-O-B. Counter, counter. Ocean's Keeper. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, we're not starting off so hot. <laughs> so we got one super in the ghost. So much for the surge. Yeah, so I guess, let me know, guys, if you want me to continue the search. I'm probably going to want to open them anyway because there's a lot of cool secrets and ultimates. And I guess, technically, there is a chance to pull another one. Venom Swamp, Chrysalis Chicky, Counter, counter. And Mirror Gate. There we go, super rare. This is the guy. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. You know what I was about to say. You know what I was about. To, let me know in the comments if you know what I was about to say. Oh my! I am absolutely shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. Okay, I asked you guys to let me know in the comments if I should open them, but honestly, I'm probably about to open them right now and just post the videos later. Neospace and Pathfinder. It's like a five dollar card, so that's pretty cool. Set that aside. Yeah, I'm probably about to open them right now. So, yeah. Just let me know anyway. Maybe I haven't opened them. Who knows? That's what I, a lot of you guys ask. I do do a lot. I do multiple recordings. Like if I have a bunch of one pack and I want to open them all right then, I do that. I just split it up into different videos so that you guys get one more videos and I can get them out every... I can have videos every day if I do that. If I do like 100 pack openings, which I really wanted to do for this, 
But honestly, I'm glad I didn't because now it would be kind of ruined. Because like if you pull the Ghost Rare in the first five packs, and then you have 95 packs waiting around, it's just kind of like, okay, we pulled it, so what are we excited about? I mean, there's a lot more cool stuff, but the whole search for the Ghost thing would have been not very interesting. Oh my goodness, crazy. Fifth Hope, here we go. Super rare. This is an epic ultimate rare. Pretty awesome. Super rare. So we haven't pulled anything but a super and a ghost so far. Oh my god. Yeah, a lot. So maybe not a lot, but a couple of you guys said you should put the pull. I should put the pulls in in the screen. The reason I don't do that usually is because if you put all the pulls, I used to do that actually. They would take up a lot of room. So I'll just put the good pulls so you guys can see them. Like the ghost rare, obviously. Volcanic rat. Snake whistle. Double summon. Here's another one. See, there's a lot of good rares in here. That'll make you back a few bucks. This guy's like three bucks, maybe. So that's solid. I mean, it's better than all the super rares, which is very nice. Strike slash. Whoo! What an opening. And that card looks very clean, which is unusual. As you guys know, my Scarlights that I pulled, I'll, I'll link those up there in the, you know, so you guys can see the Scarlight pulls were scratched up but they're also newer this is gift of greed it's a dollar summoner's art cocoon party ritual raven marine dolphin and destructive draw yeah they're also not this is ude upper deck so the quality was much better back then so the chances of pulling a nicer ghost is probably higher with them but with the newer you know konami printing when you pull a ghost it's usually scratched up so it's nice to uh hopefully have a chance at a 10 flintlock rise of snake dd necro gardena it's pretty cool Super rare. I think he came out as a secret rare in either Legendary Collection GX or Raw Yellow Mega Pack. I can't remember. I think it was Legendary Collection GX. Okay, how many packs do we have left? Seven. We have eight packs left. Oh my goodness. Like, the, I can't believe out of 100 packs, like, we only had a 33% chance, as I said earlier. And within the first few packs, that 33% chance happened. Venom Cobra. Phalanx Pike, Reverse of Neos, Radic Orb, Ambush Fangs, Ringe, Gatekeeper of Dark World. I think I can say this is probably my best pull ever, which is pretty crazy, to be honest. I mean, I've pulled some good stuff. I haven't pulled, like, anything. I mean, okay, I've pulled some good stuff, but... Oh, there we go, Broken Bamboo Sword. But yeah, best pull ever? I mean, that's crazy. That is insane. All right. Gift of Greed, it's a good start. Venom Burn, oh, we might have something back there. Oh, Venom Serpent. Can we get something besides a super rare and a ghost? I mean, I'll take another ghost, that wouldn't be bad. Elemental Hero Neos Alias, so make sure you guys check out that video. We got this guy, except in a different form, if you know what I'm saying. Wow. We're pulling supers like crazy right now. Cocoon Party, Ritual Raven. All right, can we get an Ultra or an Ultimate? The Ultras that are actually, well, the Ultras and Ultimates are the same. In this, they're both 1 in 24, I think. But in the hobby retail sets, ultimates are twice as common, which is odd. Common Charity, Cocoon Party, Ritual Raven, and Marine Dolphin, which makes absolutely no sense because everybody wants an ultimate over an ultra. Almost everybody. Except, I think, maybe my wife. She likes ultra rares for some reason. Phantom Cricket, Nex, Symbols of Duty. Destructive Draw, Alien Shock Trooper, Reverse of Neos, and Gravatic Orb. All right, so we're down to the last three packs. I mean, we could get nothing in these, and we've done we've done very, very well. Very well. Oh, my goodness. That is very exciting. Venom Snake, Summoner's Art, Alien Shock Trooper, and Ambush Fangs. I think that gift card card is... Card card? <laughs> is short printed i'm almost sure it is because one we've only pulled one and then i think i'd heard that before that's probably another reason it's three dollars four dollars all right flint lock chrysalis larva rise of the snake deity oh do we get something elemental hero dark bright if that had been the ultimate rare of this i might have passed out because honestly guys i was that close to, to passing out earlier when my heart felt like it just fell out of my chest when i saw that card creature seizure okay so that's a good ultra rare pull okay last pack of the most insane opening ever. Just because of the one pull, really. Because the rest of the pulls haven't been too great. I mean, I mean, it's been solid. Like, we got an ultra rare. We got a bunch of supers. We got some valuable rares. So, I mean, really nothing to complain about. And then that. Once you add that to it, it just gets crazy. So, here we go. Last pack. Counter Counter. Phantom Cricket. 
Next. The Gift of Greed, nice. And an Aquarian Alessa, there's a super rare. To finish it off, I'll take that. Yeah, so make sure you guys like this video and help me out, share this video. This was epic, so I want, I want you guys to share it for me, if you can. Of course, I would never make you do anything. So here we go. Let me remind you guys about the giveaway. Like the video and subscribe, and then you guys can enter to win these. The star pack, I know. Not the most exciting pack, but you do get five, so pretty cool. I'm not even sure what's in there. Battle Royale, probably something cool in there. And then these, common. So yeah. And stay tuned, guys. The 10K opening will be, I'm guessing, by the time you see this, probably two weeks. I bet in two weeks that it'll be ready to go. So hopefully in two weekends from when you guys see this, which will probably be Saturday or Sunday, it'll be two weeks from then we can open all the packs and hopefully get as epic pulls as this let me go through what we got absolute insanity so here we go we got a super rare we got a nice gift of greed dark bright that's pretty cool he's like a eight dollar ultra rare super rare we get another gift of greed a bamboo sword another super rare another gift of greed double summon was a great pull one of our best pulls super rare pathfinder was actually i think our second best pull another super rare mirror gate blazewing butterfly Gift card was a really nice three dollars, and then a uh, baboon, bab baboon, what broken bamboo sword, and then of course, let's be very careful with this card. The ghost rare, rainbow dragon, unbelievable, unbelievable, guys. So yeah, this one will be this one will be graded, and hopefully we get a ten. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button and share it if you can. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Secret.